Snowmageddon 2021. What fun. Several hours with no electricity. No problem. We pulled up our lazy boys in front of the fireplace and watched movies on our iPad. I wanted to work on the RV, but the space heater could only get it up to 40 degrees in the garage. 7.9 degrees outside. Brrr. Today I'm working on attaching the stabilator to the fuselage, but first I need to bolt the counterbalance weights to the counterbalance arm. This counterbalance arm bolts to the stabilator and is inserted inside the fuselage. Since I've already attached the fiberglass tips on the stabilator, I can skip step 8, which calls for trimming of the counterbalance weights. The first thing I noticed about these lead weights is that they are not square. The large end of these weights are placed forward. I also marked the counterbalance arm to make sure I put the weights on correctly. Now I need a number 12 drill bit. Here I'm final drilling the two aft holes in each weight. I thought, well, while I'm here, I might as well final drill the holes in the counterbalance arm. There's not much there, mostly paint. Drilling lead makes for a lot of burrs, easily removed with a pocket knife. If you're like me, you forget the name of the parts you're looking for. It happens somewhere between the instructions and the storage bin. I've learned to shoot a picture of what I need with my iPhone, rather than making trips back and forth. The first part of attaching the lead weights to the counterbalance arm is fairly easy. Just run a bolt through the forward hole and put a nut on it. I lined up the holes and all the parts as best I could, then slowly drilled through the pre-drilled holes, probing for the counterbalance arm hole as I went along. Then it was just a matter of putting the bit all the way through. Now for the last bolt. This will need some persuading. I used my screwdriver wrench to work the bolt through. All that's left is to tighten the bolts.
Here are the bolts to fasten the counterbalance arm to the stabilator. Now I need to put grease on the bare steel of the arm. The tough part about attaching the stabilator to the fuselage is that it is really a two-man job. But since I'm by myself today, I'm going to try to figure something out. Right now, the stabilator is resting on two adjustable height tables. I need to free up those tables to figure out how to use them to get the stabilator into position for attaching it to the fuselage. I made a temporary support to hold the stabilator. Here are my tables with adjustable legs. Looks like I only need to raise the height of the table one inch. This will put the stabilator into perfect position to put the attach bolts in. Luckily I had some foam pads that came with some solar panels that I ordered. They are exactly one half inch thick. I'm going to cut these in half and put two on each tabletop to give me the inch I'm looking for. Before the counterbalance arm can be bolted to the stabilator, it has to be turned on its side to get it through the hole in the aft bulkhead of the fuselage. I then temporarily bolted the counterbalance arm with the weights attached to the stabilator. Thanks to the auto flip feature of the GoPro, it videoed this clip in portrait and not landscape. Sometimes automatic features like this can bite you in the so I used my software to flip the image on its side. Here you can see how the table setup and foam pads made it somewhat easy to put the final two bolts in. Here my sweetie demonstrates the accomplishment. After all the other pieces have been added to the stabilator, it will need to be taken off and put back on several times to adjust the counterbalance weights to make the stabilator sit in a neutral position. These bolts are really hard to get to, so I made a couple of handy little tools to simulate the bolts, making it easier to take the stabilator off and on repeatedly. These are paint rollers with strong steel shafts that just happen to be the same bolt size width as an AN4 bolt. Easy peasy. Here you can see where I removed the plastic roller and used my Scotch-Brite wheel to reduce the diameter of the shaft a little bit more to make sure it will fit in the AN4 bolt hole. Thanks for watching my video. Please consider subscribing.